All right, it's day two of working on this swap. My next phase, now I have my 1.6 pump off, is that I want to swap my actual ALH pump parts onto my 1.6 pump. Now this is already a 1.9 liter head, but I want to use a Bosch 1.9 liter head and not a Hans Auto Parts 1.9 liter head. So I will be trying to swap this head onto here. Should be pretty straightforward. You know, it's usually saying that is what cooks me, but then everything will line up to the ALH specifications and we'll have the MTDI going for us. The other thing I want to change is that this right here, this chunk is the ALH pressure regulator. So this is what regulates how much pump pressure is inside the body. And if I can, I want to move that over to here. It's hard to see, but this middle part here is actually the pressure regulator on the 1.6. This is the vacuum that applies to the boost. Okay, so with that introduction, I'm gonna go ahead and rip this thing apart, and then rip this thing apart, and then switch some parts out. So this thing's actually in really nice shape. Uh, you can see I had to pull the top off because this whole top is kind of just a motor and shit. And this sticks down into here in such a way that you can't pull the pump head out until you remove the top half. So, but as you can kind of see, it's nice and clean in there. Super duper clean. Gorgeous, beautiful, amazing cleanliness. So. This is awesome, and I can use these parts no problem. Also, while we're comparing differences, there's the spring underneath the cam plate, and in the 1.9, there is not. There is no spring and no place for one. The rollers are also slightly different. The 1.9 has a kind of like a one-piece roller on that inner spindle, and the 1.6 has these two-piece rollers. Nothing, nothing groundbreaking, just interesting. All right, and then, of course, there's this part of it, so these should both actually be about the same because they're both allegedly 1.9 cam plates. Uh, and most important of all, you gotta get that tooth right there lined up with that tooth right there. And you can't forget this little washer. If you forget the washer, the car doesn't work. So, gotta get all the little parts back from the pump just so and do it quite carefully. Just to show y'all, this is the pump head out of the ALH, and calipers are zeroed, and it is an 11 millimeter pump head. So, we're not changing in size whatsoever. It's worth mentioning too, right now, um, this, anything, any speck of dirt anywhere is gonna go into your fuel injectors, potentially or grind around in your fuel pump. So when you go popping heads off your fuel pump and stuff, make sure everything is super clean. I wish I cleaned the outside of this before I pulled it off. I wish I cleaned my bench better. I wish I cleaned my tools because literally you touch your bench, you get one piece of dirt on your hand, you touch that, you put it in there, it goes in your injector, you're screwed. So <laughs> be very, 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 very clean while you're doing this if you, uh, if you choose to. And today I'm actually trying a new way of assembling. 
Because previously what I would do is kind of like juggle the whole pump head in here. And uh, that proves to be really difficult to do. Sure. Today I am trying the opposite. We are assembling everything upside down. And gonna try to run it piece by piece back the other way, which may or may not work. Key things, I put some grease behind that little shim and I've put grease behind these two little springs as well so they don't just fall out. And I'm wondering, I should probably just grease these. Basically it's all about figuring out which things will stick in their place and which things need to be jostled around. We're looking good, kind of. Okay, that one wanted to go home. And you gotta be careful. Okay, those don't wanna stay. <laughs> and I exceeded my grease clock on the little springs. You just wanna be careful getting, getting the pump head into its home here because if you rush and like bind or something stupid like that, it's no good. Oh, that's not what you want. Okay, more grease on that one. And it's also worth saying that there's like a lot of little parts that can fall to places you cannot reach and you don't want that. You don't want that. <laughs> Keep track of your parts. Don't, don't drop a washer, you know, deep in here and forget it and then start and your pump is junk. Okay. Now these little spring perches aren't quite lined up yet, so we have to do some precision, precision fuckery here. That's one. Oh, we're cooked. And you can't let the collar slide out of its hole either. Is the annoying thing. Fuck. Ah. All right, we almost had it. God, I just did it again. That sucks. You can't let it rock back at all or you lose all your progress. Okay. Don't let it rock forwards. Don't do it. Ah, okay. And there we are. And there's a bit of spring tension because we're actually pushing we are pushing that spring that is under the cam plate back in. Okay, and for MTDI, which is what we're going for here, you do need to reuse the 1.6 mounting plate. This mounting plate. Oh God, I already got stuck. Because this slot, well, this is a slot and the 1.9 does not have a slot. It is fixed because it does all its own timing jibber jabber internally. Okay. And although that was, I would say, a little bit more of a pain to do it the way I just did it, uh, ultimately, I think it gives you a cleaner result with more, more certainty. And here you want to just walk it down evenly. Mm. 
because my previous method was kind of blindly throwing it all in there and you just don't have very much confidence when you do it that way. Like in the fact that all the little things that need to line up have actually lined up. It's also worth mentioning too, you should absolutely, if you take your pump apart, take a note of where the cam plate is at because this one, this is like what determines your timing and it is possible to be 180 degrees out. Oh, but the other check to see if you're 180 degrees out is the keyway, this thing right here, should line up with the position you put the cam plate in there and mine does, so we're good to go. Um, and now, since we're all on here, I'm gonna torque this and kind of clean stuff and then I need to put the pump pulley back on it and turn it by hand to make sure everything's copacetic inside. And we need to put the beloved power screw back in. So here's my comment on pressure regulators. And in fact, I actually wasn't turned on to this concept until, uh, until someone else made a comment about it. But this is the 1.6 pressure regulator and this is the 1.9 and the 1.9 pressure regulator. This hose isn't important, but inside here is the pressure regulator. And what's important is that it actually releases fuel to return at a higher case pressure, which will change timing and other things like that. Okay, so um, just a few other things I moved over. So we got the pump head, it spins, everything works. We got the 1.9 delivery valves and everything like that. We have the 1.9 pressure regulator. To go with the 1.9 pressure regulator, I also moved the 1.9 timing spring and cap. The spring is longer and slightly stiffer, but the fact that the cap is longer also kind of offsets that. So you have to move both. You can't use the 1.6 cap, the 1.9 spring. I've not changed this before, so we'll see how this all plays together, but I assume by upping the case pressure and changing the timing spring together, we will end up at a satisfactory result. Aside from that, this thing is pretty much ready to install. I'm excited to be using Bosch components now everywhere instead of weird eBay components. And that's pretty much all there is to say about it. Oh geez, all right, so here's the thing. I got the pump all squared away. I pulled the head off the old motor so I could take my nice new studs and put them in this motor. And I was about to put the head on, which I was super excited for, until I realized that uh, my head gasket got oily. And that's from the assembly lube I put on the head. And this wasn't tight or anything, it was just sitting under the head on the engine. And the oil dripped down and it got all between the leaves of this and I tried to clean it and cleaning it with a solvent takes the coating off which you need that's part of the gasket so I just junked this $50 $60 head gasket by letting it get oily so a word of caution don't mock up your shit with your final head gasket like I did because It'll be junk if it gets oily or anything like that. Keep it clean in the package until you're ready to use it. So, this one is now an excellent mock-up gasket. <laughs> and it can stay right there. And I have another one coming, which of course delays the process here, but that's okay. So, I actually did just now. 
strongly consider using the timing belt cover. I just have the back side of it all laid out and stuff. Um, but I actually, my genuine concern is that even with this fully bolted up, I might have a like a pulley clearance issue with the timing cover on the back. And that's really the last thing I want. I just worked on a Honda, did the timing belt and stuff. And actually it came back and I had to do the timing belt again because it's old piece of crap cover was warping and rubbing on the belt and that made it snap. So that was a long winded way of saying I'm kind of all set on using covers if I don't have to. So I think I'm not going to. Slight risk. Ooh, that bolt head is pretty close. Which raises an interesting point. If I want to adjust my pump, currently I'd have to take the pulley off, which would be fucked up. I have to think about this. Okay, well I was a little quick in my evaluation. So this is with the pump mounted. I still have it loose, because I mean, still gonna need timed. If we put the gear on here, so long as you rotate it to the right spot, you can actually get to all the bolts. So that'll be okay. I was worried for a second that if you put the pump gear on all of a sudden you actually won't be able to won't be able to do anything with it. It should be no good. So that's very good. Get the gear on here, get the pump on here. I'm pretty pissed that I forgot. And I'm not putting it on because I can't because I fucked it up, but just for the sake of mocking shit up. Heck yeah, that's what she's gonna look like. Very nice. 